More news coming out of the special election to fill the congressional district 19 seat vacated by Trey Radel. Republican political newcomer Kurt Claussen announcing a big name endorsement today. Four Under Corners Liza Fernandez joining us with team coverage on what's turning out to be quite an interesting race to represent us. Emily, some would say self-described Tea Party conservative Byron Donalds is a great get. You may remember Donalds won Collier County in the primary back in 2012 over Trey Radel, something that could move Kurt Clausen off the basketball court and into this political game. I wanted to take this opportunity to officially endorse Kurt Clausen to represent Southwest Florida in the United States Congress. Collier County Tea Party favorite Byron Donalds throwing his political support behind a District 19 candidate you might have only heard of two weeks ago. I'm Kirk Kloss. The former college basketball star raising his political profile Super Bowl Sunday with this pricey campaign ad. I want to take on Obama in Congress. So why not start on the court? I think he's the best candidate in the race. You know, what we need in Washington are people who have outside experience, real leadership, and he provides that. Donalds is known and respected in Collier, taking the county in the 2012 primary by five points, but ultimately losing when Lee County votes were tallied. This may be the only candidate you could endorse without going against everything you stood for last election, right? I agree with that. I really did look at the field very strongly. And I want, I've always wanted the best representation for our area. I believe Kurt provides that, and that's why I made a decision to endorse him. Donald's loyal supporters are a great addition to the Clausen team. And it's going to be my duty to help him galvanize that support in the district. The fact that he's endorsed him, it's pretty much uh, enough for me. Clausen, grateful for Donald's endorsement. Byron brings support, advice, and counsel that really is irreplaceable. The Clausen campaign today also turned in the required petitions to start the process of qualifying as a candidate. And I'm told to expect a very detailed political platform, which we have not heard much about, to be released in the coming days. That special election primary is April 22nd. In the studio, Liza Fernandez, Fox 4, in your corner.